Well, this is basically just as say about the FIFA 11 menus and how they would be better off in FIFA 22, basically. So, that gives me nunchuck, because it's on FIFA 11 Wii, which is quite different. And then let's just go to streets to get the first example of the menus. I mean, just go past this, this isn't, this isn't relevant. But then you've got, for a start, this team select menu. It starts with your recently used nine teams for home and nine teams away, which helps. And then if you go to, and then you can, then you can see nine at once. And it has their overalls as well. That's a big part of it. It has their exact overalls rather than the star rating. That really helps. Well, yes, in this save, I've changed the squads about quite a bit, so they're different overalls. You get what the idea is. Let's go to a different league to get more accurate overalls. Not West of Europe, the Spanish leagues. Yeah, that's more accurate. For example. And then if you go and select a couple, I'll just quickly go select Osasuna and Burton Alpin here. That's the next menu, and then if you go to advance, okay, this one doesn't really portray it amazingly well, but we could, we will then, now we'll just go to the, to a different menu to get the fonts. So I'm pretty sure the, the it's in hit the pitch. Advance. Yeah, yeah, Oxford Burton. And then, I'll just press play match. You get these startup menus, which, I mean, it's nothing special, but it's definitely better. Oh, you have your overalls, which helps. Obviously, this is on the Wii, so things can be different. Obviously, I'm just going to pause and exit. If you're, wonder if you're wondering, here's my controller and nunchuck. <laughs> Here they are. I mean, it's on two times zoom, so they're a bit big, but okay. <laughs> yeah, exit the match. Lovely menus. And we'll go look at the nicest bit of the menus. And that is when you get into certain game modes. Or, well yeah, just when you get into certain game modes. Most noticeable when you're in the transfer, best off when you're in the transfer window. And this is the sort of font that I want it to be in. So let's load the this game's equivalent of career mode. I'll just go on this one because I know I'm in the uh, transfer window. Because I think I'm in the transfer window in this, or am I? Uh, am I? Probably not, actually. No, I'm not. Uh, different one. Okay, not this one, but that is the initial start screen, which is cool. But then, if you go to Battle for Glory, and actually go to one where there is a transfer window open. Which I think this one is. The Eddie Stobart career mode that I might show you in a bit later. But, for example, if you go to the... Why am I going to Stat Central? Team Central. And then you go... Okay, goddamn, I keep going to the wrong ones. Now, of course it's goddamn Transfer Central, isn't it? But yeah, if you go to the find player section, that means that you can look just look casually look at everyone's overalls. And this is the font. What a font. <laughs> and it also has a nice colour of the team's home kit. It's just really nice. Really nice menus. Look at these menus, goddammit. Look at these. 
They're cool. I'd love to see these in FIFA 22. These would be epic. You can sort of menus. Especially for selecting like a team. That would be an excellent menu for team select. Championship, yeah, you get the idea of championship. So on this game, Blackpool relegated, yeah. Probably West Brom and I think Newcastle. Okay, not Newcastle, someone else. West Brom and Wigan, okay. And this is an old game, definitely. He had, I mean, goddamn, any, like, look, Plymouth Argyle in the championship, and Leicester's. They're still are in there as well, but like, and Leeds, to be fair, that's not too surprising. Crystal Palace were down it. Ex oh yeah, Exeter went up on this. Exeter City. Why? Why did they even go up? To be fair? It's like, I don't even understand how they managed to get up there, but okay. And for example, if we go look at them, but then we can go look at other leagues. Well, yeah, the rest of Europe's a bit E for the E of this game. In all honesty, that's effectively what you feel, what they feel like in modern games. So I guess that's fair enough. Real Liga, Liga Adelante on that. I mean, you did have a two B teams in this. I see Barcelona B, and somehow Villarreal B were good enough. Nowadays you've got Real Sociedad B. Here, Real Sociedad proper in here. I think, yeah. Ah yes, Zera, when Zeras were decent. Yes, 72. Look at this, like, re recreativo. Mm. Anyway, that's enough FIFA 11 nostalgia. I was here to talk about the goddamn menus. Yeah, that's enough FIFA 11 this time. Joe, we want to talk about the menus. Right, options. Final menu. This makes transferring players miles easier. If we go to this, you still, as usual, select your region. I'll go League 2. Actually, no, that's not really thingy because I've changed those already using this. I mean, I've... I mean, it took me only an hour to change nine to change ninety two teams. So, using this, so yeah, this definitely works. Let's just select Alcocon and Albacete or something. But yeah, it may not look too thingy, but then you realise that you can transfer multiple just like this, and if you want, you can swap them. Speed swap. Well, I won't do this because no. But yeah, that's how it is. Well, I think that's everything I have to show. So I'm going to end this video at eight forty-eight. Do 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 do.